So as you guys are aware, I, I haven't I haven't watched She Hulk since after the second episode. I'm not even I'm not even gonna fucking bullshit you guys or lie or anything like that. I have no reason to. I'm completely like I, I'm just I don't like that show. Like I'm completely just not interested in that show. I think it's a 100% hardcore pandering piece. I think it's bullshit, and it's unfortunate. She Hulk in the comics is fantastic. You can argue and say that oh this is the most accurate She Hulk we've ever gotten to the comics. Fuck you and your feminazi bullshit. I am not interested in it. Okay. You can give me She Hulk without telling me how much men suck. You can give me She Hulk without talking about bullshit catcalling bullshit. Oh my God, I'm getting murdered in the street every single day because I'm a woman get that shit out of here nobody believes you nobody gives a fuck now with that being said the star that plays uh i believe titania in she hulk uh her name is i believe jamila jamil she says apparently that now she wants to engage with critics so that she can learn after she went on a complete tirade on twitter yelling at people now that's pretty hilarious so it's basically like a version of instant regret that she's having because she went on a complete hardcore tirade i don't know if you guys missed it but on twitter it was ridiculous she was literally arguing with everybody and the funny thing is she was essentially saying that she doesn't care if the show gets a season two or not because she already got paid she got her money so what does she care she doesn't care so it goes to show the level of care that these actors and actresses have for the show because when they're doing it it's just a paycheck nobody wants to care about the art Nobody wants to care about how long lasting the show is or if it's memorable long term. Nobody cares. It's just content. It's content for them to consume. And that's why they want you to just consume. They don't want you to ask questions. They don't want you to think about it. They don't want you to do anything other than shut the fuck up, sit down and watch the TV show to give them the ratings so that they can make maximum money. That's what they want. So we're going to get into the article, guys. But of course, before we do, if you're new here, consider hitting that subscribe button. I would greatly appreciate it. Don't forget to like the video, comment, let me know what you think of today's story. And and let's get into the video, guys. All right, guys, today's article comes for us from Bounding Into Comics, and it says, She-Hulk star Jamila Jamil says she wants to engage with critics so she can learn following Twitter spats over the series quality. It says credit where credit is due, despite the widespread panning of Marvel's latest misstep, She-Hulk attorney at law star Jamila Jamil is not burying her head in the sand as the Titania actress recently made a rough to start effort to engage with and learn from the, even the most vehement of the uh, Disney Plus series critic. Jamil's latest foray into the world of She-Hulk criticism began on October 1st as a result of the actress sharing a playful video of herself eating McDonald's french fries in New York City's Times Square alongside the caption waiting for the final episode of She-Hulk Light. So I did see this picture and I did see some some of the back and forth okay and honestly a lot of the back and forth was just just people were tearing her apart okay i mean it is what it is people were just absolutely destroying the show rightfully so you know the show is pretty garbage it says inundated with the usual social media fare with responses ranging from compliments on her dress to outright insulting of the series one particular response from yellow uh, fellow twitter user alien boy uh, tv caught the actress attention all that buildup of 20 minute episodes for nothing to happen mocked the user you won't be seeing a two season fry <laughs> that's pretty good you gotta admit that's pretty good and then she said dude who cares fired back jamil i got to live my dream and be in a marvel pro i highly doubt i highly doubt being in a marvel project was your dream okay you might say it was your dream because it looks good on your resume but it, it wasn't really a dream i don't think you woke up like 10 years ago and were like oh my god i gotta be in a marvel project like i highly doubt that was your dream but let's continue it says, and to be in a Marvel project and go to events where I got to meet all my favorite Marvel stars and talk to them about their movies and I got paid, my cup is full. But how's your life going? She dismissively concluded in her response. Jamil snapped, finding its way across his desk. Geeks and Gamers founder Jeremy Griggs soon joined the conversation, observing She-Hulk actress said she doesn't care if the show is successful because she already got paid. Amazing. And still, that's actually a good point because that's a pretty terrible, honestly, like that's a pretty terrible view to have, right? So just because this is just a paycheck to you, right? It's just a paycheck to you. There's a lot of people out there that view She-Hulk as one of their favorite characters of all time. There is, believe it or not, I know. Mainstream media wants you to believe that anything female-led is automatically hated by all fans, which is bullshit because there's a lot of female heroes that people truly love and they follow. Me personally, not a lot of them work for me, okay? She-Hulk's pretty great, 
but I'm not going to pretend like the, the female superheroes are like my top superheroes of all time, but there's a lot of people that are like that, and that's great. That's why there's so many different content for so many different people, but the problem with that is that now you're coming out and you're trying to say, oh, well, I got paid, so who cares if the show gets a season two? That's terrible. That is terrible. That goes. That mindset was probably shared with all the writers and the other actors and actresses who were on this show. It's just a paycheck to them. That's it. They don't care if it gets a season two. They don't care if it's good. And rightfully so, because they're actors, right? So all they get paid to do is read fucking lines and they get paid to do what they're told to do, right? So they don't really care and I don't expect them to care. But the writers and the producers and directors, they most of them think that way too, especially the writers. All these people doing this feminazi bullshit, the writers think this way too, I promise you. They don't care if the show gets a season two. All they care about is they get to see their names scroll down the credits and they get to say hey i wrote that show yeah i know it's bad but i wrote that show that's amazing hire me in politics that's what they want to do that's how these people are so i don't i don't really find it shocking that she said that it says the show is successful the actress exclaimed in turn we were number one in america last week if we don't get a season two i'm beyond happy with what we have we have a lot of people happy and we were happy and loved it it should be noted that the show is being enjoyed by some. Everything will have a fan, no matter how terrible. She-Hulk is not, by any measure, a success. Not only does Jade Giantess' solo outing currently hold a lower rating among audiences on both Rotten Tomatoes and Metacritic than even the failed Inhumans pilot, but as per recent Nielsen ratings, She-Hulk is the first Marvel Studios show to not break onto the data's firm top 10 most viewed original streaming chart. And I did report on that. I did make a video on that, that this was the first Marvel TV show that did not actually break the top 10 Nielsen charts. The first one. If the show is a success, as you say, there will be a season two and none of these so-called haters will matter, Griggs then asserted, which begs the question as to why you continue to focus on negativity when you claim there is so much positivity. Because why only live in a bubble of congratulations, pos posited Jamil. I engage plenty with the people who love the show. To this, Griggs amicably admitted, fair enough, I can't really argue with that. I don't like the show at all, but I'm fine with others enjoying it. Yet Griggs was not the only critic with whom Jamil engaged as the actress further responded to a number of other criticisms from the G&G &G heads, like-minded followers. However, her subsequent interactions would not be as cordial as the one she shared with Greg. Maybe next time you get a job, you will study the source material, asked Hawkeye Luap, to which Jamil explained, I did didn't write the show fair enough that's a fair enough statement she's just an actress she didn't write the show you should be going after the feminazis who were hired to write this show this whole all female driven everything clearly that doesn't work every single time because if you have certain mindsets of the people who are writing the show everything else fails everything else falls if these writers are literally that terrible everything else is going to be terrible it doesn't matter how great of an actor you are you can't you can't just polish a turd it's impossible it says i knew the source material backwards she clarified they changed my character and it was a fun cartoonish version it's a satire try not to get so upset and take everything so so seriously then met with an accusation of i seriously doubt you know the character jamil simply wrote okay bro alongside an emoji represented a two-horned hand gesture for rock on see that she touts not mad the emoji even tells you sweetie you're a little more than a meme of a bad cgi in a busted hey <laughs> my god they're tearing her apart that's great and she said no i just think it's funny that you're the exact stereotype of the guys we make fun of in the show see so you admit you admit that this is what you do on the show and you expect this show to be well received it's ridiculous uh, she quipped the actress, not all guys, just guys like you. So no wonder you're upset, dude. It's okay. Let it out. Let it out, babe. Puzzled by her seeming pride in the series mocking a particular type of guy, they politely ask, but why make fun of anyone in the first place? It says men aren't allowed to make fun of women at all in entertainment if they want to stay in entertainment, that is. He added, why the double standard? That's a great question. That is a great question. To this, Jamil argued, have you seen any stand-up comedy? It's all girls are like, women are like, this is comedy, she reasoned. My character pokes fun at misogynistic women. It's comedy. It's lighthearted. Making a separate criticism, she opinioned to Jamil, it's the most boring garbage Marvel ever made. It makes Captain Marvel seem like a masterpiece. In no way is this show number one. Can't wait till it's over so I can stop reviewing it. Man, this is a miserable and aggressive way to live and speak to strangers, dude, replied Jamil. Did you feel a bit called out by the way we discuss men talking to women online with so much animosity? Eventually, following roughly two days of interaction with She-Hulk fans and critics, Jamil asserted on October 3rd, to be clear, it is absolutely fine if you personally don't like She-Hulk. I know it doesn't appeal to everyone, but some fucking people love it. But we can all agree that you don't need to be so hostile when you express your feelings to me. She then requested of those attempting to engage her in conversation, we're all fans, let's talk nicely. So listen, I understand where she's coming from and I understand what's going on with this show. Okay, this show clearly deserves a lot of the backlash it's getting because this show literally came out guns blazing within 10 minutes of the first episode attacking men. 
This is this is how you knew where this show was going to go from the get go. They made it very clear what they were going to do. They made it very clear what their intentions were. So you can't get mad at the actors and actresses because at the end of the day, no matter at no matter anything, no matter how you may feel, at the end of the day, they're there to collect this. They're there to collect money. They want money. Right. And they get paid to say and do things that whatever the fuck the director says they need to do and say and whatever the writers write, they're going to say. So it's not necessarily their thoughts. Now, if you want to argue that the actors and actresses go on their personal Twitter accounts and attack people, that's different. But when it comes to the content of the show and what's actually in the show. You can't get mad at them. It's the writers, it's the producers, it's the directors, right? So I get what she's saying in that regard. But at the end of the day, this show deserves every bit of fucking hate that comes its way. Because if you're going to start off your show absolutely destroying a particular group, you deserve all the hate that that particular group is going to come at you with. So anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you did enjoy. And if you did, consider leaving me a subscribe. I would greatly appreciate it. Don't forget to like the video, comment, let me know what you thought of today's story. And I'll see you guys on the next one. Hypnotic out.